side and and do something more important you know like somebody like there's this joke that one bag of cement equals two like one one pizza one large pizza equals two one bag of cement and people say like yolo you only live once like you can only like enjoy life when you can but also enjoy life thinking about your future how are you going to live how are you going to leave your kids are your kids going to like stay back struggling like and you're a parent then you have uh, the ability to to save for them and hey guys i'm back with another video welcome back to my channel my name is flavia it means i'm heso if you have not yet subscribed please click the sub subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can get notifications when i post my videos so today, in today's video we're going to talk about savings hmm. how do you save money like saving for the small things like buying a new phone buying something in the house like an electronic like a fridge microwave tv so th those are the things that we're going to talk about today so uh one thing i need to like talk about is my intro intro video like i really struggled like i really struggled doing that video i shout out to all you content creators out there because you are doing a great job this is hard like it is hard like for me it was very hard so until i got this place where i could get good lighting i have a ring light but eh, i didn't know how to place it well after all the even i did so much research but anyway like if you watched that video thank you so much if you did not watch the video i'm going to put a link at the end of this video so that you can go and see my troubles shooting my introduction introduction video so on to this video so how do you save your money so i'm going to tell you how i save my money and i'm going to insert little uh, pic pictures on the side to show you how i do it so one thing i wish i learned was how to save money i wish i learned how to save money at a young age because I believe right now I could have been so so far away. I learned about saving properly in my early 20s and by the time I was learning how to save I was in college and you know I didn't have a job I was depending on my mother for most things so by the time I was learning how to save it was like a bit not not too late it's never too late for anything right you can just do anything at any age as long as you put your mind to it you can do it. So on to the video now on to the topic of today so one thing I do, like I, I save in different in different ways, the steps in which I save money. So if I want like money for shopping, I, I try and make it easy for myself by saving like 50 bobs in a little jar. I put it like in everything, even in, in alcohol packs, those, you know, those, uh, what are they called? those boxy boxy kind of uh, alcohol containers i put the money there i cut a little hole and put the money there I'll, i will insert a picture here of what exactly i'm talking about so if i want to like save for food i must i like saving for everything so that i don't like when that time comes i don't get a whole um, like i get money like once in a window and you know that it it kind of pains when you have to get money all at once and to go and buy something right you agree with me on that right so uh the other method of saving okay apart from the saving a bank i use p banks there are charts that i have used before for saving i will insert the pictures here i use like there are simple charts for you there are monthly charts there are weekly charts there are uh, uh quarterly charts half yearly charts and 52 week charts according to your income you can save as little as you can to like grow yourself and get you a phone or something like the phone I'm using right now, it took me like around uh, six months to save for it. So like I really put my mind to it and I was like, okay, I'm going to save this little amount of money every month so that I can get what I want so that it can serve me long term. And it's serving me well. I believe it's still good. So uh, please uh, tell me how you save your money because uh, there's this uh, envelope method i've not really gotten to know it very well but there are those envelope you put in like this is transport money this is shopping money this is entertainment money so uh, on the transport money side you that like you don't touch that envelope if it's transport money it is transport money fixed so when you when you when you go to the bus station you can get 
you you pay if it's like say 50 shillings and you give them 100 shillings you if they give you 50 back you take the 50 and you put it back in that specific envelope there's no you don't mix the money that way you keep track of your finances like you can list down how much you use in a month if you're beginning well you can just try uh if you're beginning to like uh get to the saving culture you can just try uh getting a, a notebook you get a notebook and write down all your expenses in a month like most of the time we buy things that we do not need so i realized that if you like write down like a whole week of things that you just bought that you don't even need you will be shocked like you use a lot of money on things that are really unnecessary and that money could be put aside and and do something more important you know like somebody like there's this joke that one bag of cement equals two like one one pizza one large pizza equals two one bag of cement and People say like YOLO, you only live once, like you can only like enjoy life when you can. But also enjoy life thinking about your future. How are you going to live? How are you gonna leave your kids? Are your kids going to like stay back struggling like and you're a parent then you have uh, the ability to to save for them and leave something good for them? That's not right, right? So try and build a good em build an empire slowly. Like nothing just comes uh, automatically everything is step by step by step so for me through the years i've been saving saving i save i buy something save buy something and then another method like another another strategy for me to save is through chamas for those of you who don't understand what chamas is chama is where you have like a group of girls like for me i have my high school friends we came up with a group like but then one thing about chamas you really need to get people you trust because people can't be trusted with money out here trust me people can't be trusted with money you have to like get people you trust you can't trust anybody like completely but at least get people like you can like trust and and uh yeah and you like that money relationship can you can uh, grow that money relationship with so for me i have a chama i've been in a chama for five years I was a secretary in that channel for five years and then I just stepped down this year. I was like, okay, I need to, re to rest because I was doing like, like some of us were doing some work and the rest were like, okay. But anyway, that's good. So what, what happens in our chama is we like, we, we have this amount we contribute every month. There's seven of us, but each person has like, you can have like two numbers or three numbers or four numbers, depending on your ability. So, like, for each person, say, like, if you have four numbers, you have to contribute for each of your four numbers, like, individually. It's, like, three different people. This is you, and then there's this person A, person B, person C. So, if you're con we are contributing 3,000 a month, you're going to, like, contribute uh, 3,000 times four. That is 12,000 per month. So... For us, we contribute a certain amount of money and then um, part of that money is given to this person uh, during that month. We have a list of people who receive money monthly. So part of that money goes to to the person. Like We give two people per month so that we can go a little bit faster. Nobody wants to wait for money for like a year plus or two, right? So that's what we do. So if it's like, say, for example, if it's 10,000, this person gets no if it's say 10 no 20,000 let me use 20,000 as an example if we we are we are like giving out 20,000 we give out uh 10,000 5,000 5,000 each for the people who are getting this money and then the five the, the rest of the 10,000 is put in savings we save money and then we give out loans so that you can get interest out of it so if you're in a chama you might want to go there the interest way and then our chama also has a birthday kitty you can also like you can include fun things in your chama it doesn't have to be boring so for our chama we meet every twice every second sunday of the month yes every second sunday of the month we meet up and uh, we talk and nini, nini, nini. and then i was talking about this birthday kitty so we have a birthday kitty whereby uh, we have a list of everybody's birthdays and we contribute like 500 shillings to that cause where uh, when when the birthday when so, when the individual person's birthday comes or, or rather like reaches not comes <laughs> reaches what we do is um, we get this person cake and a birthday gift 
so that is us for our charmer that is what we do and i believe that like keeps our bond tight and closer and then for charmers specifically if you're you're going to join a charmer please have rules have rules like ground rules that people won't like uh violate people won't like go people won't want to follow rules like for us if you miss two meetings consec that is 500 shillings like no that there's no argument about that like you need to pay the fines you know if you slack like you meet you miss like several meetings then you gotta you do what you do like you have to pay up like you know we are friends but at the end of the day when it, when it comes to business we have to be serious and we have several projects within our group so if you have a savings uh, group please like try and uh, broaden your broaden your what broaden your territories by getting businesses into it and it will serve you great so you can start a poultry project or you can even buy land for each person every i'm um, sorry i'm checking something on my computer here you can have you can buy land or well you can buy land for everybody i've, I've seen charmers where people uh they buy land for each person like each year they buy land for this person they buy land for the other person so charmers are there to build you know and and uh and uh what is it called um charmers are there to build you and create a tighter bond with your friends charmers i only request like friends either friends or family people you can you can at least trust or you can you can find or you can track i've seen so many charmers out here where like there, there's so much drama somebody just like falls back and goes away with people's money you know that's wrong so for so the, for the other saving uh, method is charma so for other people they save in circles and certain certain stuff they they do investment but in this video i am just like trying to show you how to save for the small projects like for me my all, almost all my the things that i had in my house when i was living alone were bought uh, from charma money so you understand when i tell you that charma money is good like you can ju you just get it like once you go and you go and buy whatever you you've been wanting so i believe like i hope this video has been informative and tell me how you save like show me how you save in the ama you tell me uh, include a link below in the comment section tell me how you save give me new tips if i need to learn how to, to use new tips but for me for small savings i use the piggy bank and then one more thing i forgot you need to be disciplined like if you're going to go the piggy bank way you have to be disciplined like for me i like getting a clear bottle like i can get a clear like three little three little bottle or um i can get uh what is it called uh, uh just a small can whether clear or not clear i just get something that i can access so you need to be disciplined if you can be able to open this jar and see your money and not pick it you know the key thing here is discipline if you want to get to your goal you have to be disciplined you know so if you keep a discipline you're going to reach your goal and you're going to be so happy you know there's nothing that like blesses my heart more than seeing money like oh my god hmm? seeing money like stuck somewhere and you know that oh that money i'm going to use to go and get something good for myself you know go treat yourself and do something nice so t tell me how you save on the small how you save to buy the small things that you save to buy and I will, I will show to I'll, throughout the video, I will include pictures for you to see, like the jars and the charts that I've used before. But for me, I use the easier one because there are charts. Okay, don't go over ambitious. Like, don't put your ambitions beyond your, your ability. Okay? You can be ambitious, yes, but please just check, like, Angalia, just you know, try and balance out your, your ability and use that to guide you and everything will be okay so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe and hit the bell button so that you can get new videos you can get video alerts when i post new videos follow me on facebook at flavia iminza miheso follow me on instagram at flavia underscore iminza thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye good night good morning good evening Take care, sanitize, and be safe. Cheers.